In this video, I will show you how you can create a crossword puzzle book for Amazon KDP. Now, if you want to follow along this tutorial, click the link down below to sign up for a free trial. There will be a discount code for you, but we're going to talk more on that later. So to start things off, let's actually talk about BookBolt, okay? So what is BookBolt? BookBolt is basically an amazing book publishing software, okay? It's a software where you can do research on books, specifically Amazon KDP books, and you can also make and publish books by yourself. Now, I'm going to be taking you through all the processes on how you can do that for yourself. That's what BookBolt is. It's an amazing book software. You can create books. Uh, you can even make them look pretty artistic and stuff. It's going to be really good. It's going to be really fun. Okay. And they give you a three day free trial and you can obviously achieve this by clicking on this and signing up or you can just click the link down in the description below, which again, I'll give you details about more on later in the video. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to not miss anything. Now, once you have an account on BookBolt, you're just going to click on login up here. And once you do that, you're going to be redirected to this page over here. Now, you're probably wondering, what is this page? This is basically your research center page. So we won't really pay any attention over here. OK, so we're going to come here into research and we're going to click on create. Now, once you click on create, it brings you over here where it says BookBolt Studio. So obviously, we're going to open up this. And once you open up BookBolt Studio, as you can see, this is going to open up for you, you know, pretty basic. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new project. So to create a new project, you're going to come here on the top left and click on project and you're going to click on new project. Now, once you do that, you can obviously mess around with different things. So paperback cover and interior, obviously that's for your cover and interior, or you can just go with interior if you want to. And choose paperback if you want to make a, uh, you know, paperback book. Choose hardcover if you want a proper novel-based hardcover book. So I'm going to go with paperback cover and interior. And I'm going to call it crossword puzzle. Okay. That's what I'm going to call it as so. Then once you have done this, we're going to go ahead and check trim size. Now, Trim size is basically the size of your page. And as you can see, you can choose various types of sizes. Okay, there's 5.06 into 7.81. The default one is 6 by 9 inches. There's 8 by 10 inches. There's 8.27 by 11.69 inches. But in this case, I'm going to go with 5 by 8 inches. Okay, because for crossword puzzle books, this would work the best. Okay, now once we do this, What's going to happen from there is that we're going to go ahead, choose the interior and paper types. Just make sure to go ahead with the either premium color or just black and white interior. And once you have done that, I'm going to give this 10 pages as we go. And we're going to click on create a project. OK, now in some cases, you can see that it does not allow you to get 10 pages. So just keep the minimum amount that it asks you up. So I'm going to go with 24, which is the minimum account. And I'm going to click on create. Now, once we do this, what's going to happen from here is it's going to ask us to, you know, issue this template. Now, on this template, this is basically your paperback book cover. This is the back page of your book. So obviously, you're going to want to make and configure those as well. Now, you can either make them through your book bolt okay and how you can make them through your book bolt you know by adding different various elements from the element section or you can just use canva okay and by using canva you can make some great and amazing covers trust me canva has some really good artistic stuff so please do make sure to go ahead and check that out so once you've configured out your you know cover for your crossword puzzle what you're going to do is you're going to go to your interior template library okay because now we're actually going to start working into the crossword puzzle. So once we go here, we're going to go to our template library as so. Now, once you're into the template library, you're going to go to pro only. You're going to search crossword. As you can see, it gives us a crossword and then you're going to choose the number of pages. OK, so don't select the cover page. Just select any four pages. So I'm going to select one, two, three, four. Again, don't select the cover page. That's for your cover. 
but you don't want to put a crossword puzzle on the cover page. So once you do that, basically choose four pages, click on next. Now, what's going to happen is in order to create the crossword puzzle, we need to have a document with the words and in, you know, retrospect of what document we're going to need to have an Excel document. And I'm going to be showing you on how that document is going to look like. Okay. So like we're going to mess around with these settings later on. Let me first show you the document. So you're going to come here where it says example. I'm going to click on example and I'm going to open this up to see what it actually looks like. So as you can see on the left hand side, we're going to put the answers. So phone, monitor, hilarious, etc. On the right hand side, we're going to have clues. So a device that you use to talk to people from distance, phone. Display used for computers, monitor. Extremely funny, hilarious. So as you can see, you basically get clues on the right and answers on the left. So that's what you're going to need to do. Now, you're probably wondering, how am I going to find good words? Because obviously, you know, in the case of crosswords, you do need a lot of quantity of words and you need the high quality words with some good answers in front of it. OK, with some good clues. So what we're going to do to find our clues is we're going to come here and we're going to go to wordplays.com. OK, wordplays.com is an amazing website and it gives you all the great stuff for, you know, wordplay games like Scrabble, crosswords, etc. So we're going to go to crossword solver over here. OK, now once you go to crossword solver, it's going to give you enter a crossword clue. So I'm going to just, uh, you know, write ideas and click on enter. Now, as you can see, these are the answers that it gives us, you know, and these are the different uh, crossword clues. So, you know, for ideas, you can uh, get ends, knowledge. These are the answers that you can get for ideas. And as you scroll down, you can see more and more answers. So let's say I'm going to go with ideas and let's go with ends. Now, once we click on one of these, what's going to happen from here is that these can be possible clues for your crossword puzzle answer. OK, so obviously just go on ahead and uh, choose whatever clue is going to work for you. So as you can see, split ones are often cut and there you go ends. So just go with the best clues and the best answers. Search them all off of wordplays.com. And once you do that, basically what you're going to do is you're going to copy the clue and answer and paste them into a spreadsheet. So let me also show you how you're going to paste it into a spreadsheet. So you're going to open up your Microsoft Excel and I'm going to come here. Let's say I'm just going to open up this word example over here. So once you have these up here, you're going to come here. You're going to go ahead and here's your answer. OK, so you're going to copy the answer and then here's your clue. So you're going to copy the clue as well. So obviously you can see that the clue needs to be pasted on the right hand side as so. So paste it over here. So there you go. There's your clue. And the answer is ideas or maybe in this case ends. Let's make it more, you know, specific. So you get the point. This is how you're going to find your answers and clues. And this is how you're going to position them in your Excel file. So I'm going to take at least 40 different words and clues and put them in the spreadsheet. OK, so after I've done that, I'm going to let you all know. So just give me a moment and here we go. So it didn't take me too long because obviously I was using wordplay.com. And as you can see, I have come up with 40 different words and clues and I put them in my spreadsheet as you can clearly see 40. Right. So here are my, you know, answers on the left hand side and here's the clues. So let's take, you know, two random. So independence, freedom from outside control or influence. Let's say uh, philosophy, the study of fundamental questions about existence and knowledge. So you get the point. So this is how you're going to create your spreadsheet. It's really simple, really easy. And you can go up to 200 to 300 words, all because wordplace.com is just an amazing place that creates great quantity of clues and answers. So once we're done with this, we're going to go up on file and we're going to go on export. OK, we're going to go on change file type and you're going to need to save this file type in a CSV format. So you can go ahead and save it in, uh, you know, PDF or something like that. This we're going to need to save it in this. So once you've chosen 
the CSV format, you're going to come here. I'm going to write crossword book bold. That's what we're going to call it. There we go. And I'm going to save it right in my download folder just so I can find it easily. Okay. Now, once you've saved this over there, what you're going to do is you're going to come back to book bold. So I'm just going to close this and come back to our book bold as we go. So this is where we left off of, obviously. So first of all, let's mess around with the other settings. Okay, so let's change the font to something that I like. I don't really like a Bio Libre for crossword puzzles. So let's go with something really simple, but elegant. So yeah, Alice looks good. So let's go with Alice. Now, once you do that, there's the font size. Okay, so let's go. You know what? 30 font size is nice. The font color. You obviously want to want to change the font color to something dark when you're talking about crossword puzzles. And then obviously there's the stroke width. I'm going to go with black on the stroke width as well. I don't really want to mess around with that. So once you've done all of that, you're going to upload the Excel file with the words that we just chose. So you're going to come here, go onto your downloads. There we go. Crossword book bold. So I'm going to go ahead, click on that and add it here. Now we chose four pages and we have 40 words. So I'm going to go with 10 words per page. Okay. So we don't exceed or, you know, undermine any limit. And once we've uploaded our file, basically max word per page is the amount of words the crossword puzzle has per page. So for the tutorial, you can do either five or 10 words per page as I have done. The more words you use, the more words you need to have available in your Excel file. Now, clearly I chose four pages and in those four pages, I'm going to do 10 words per page because I have 40 words. So you get the point. You're going to have to do the dividing and all and just keep the math at the best place. And basically, then you have solution placement. Solution placement is basically where the solution will be placed after the question of the crossword is on the page. So I would always like it after all the puzzle pages. OK, so yeah, that's just a better way to do it. After all the puzzle pages, I'm doing this because this basically allows a person to scour through all of the questions and then watch the answers in the end like they don't get the disturbance of, you know, immediately seeing the answer, you know, you don't want to demotivate someone if they did like a bad crossword puzzle, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So you get the point, really great stuff. So once you have done this, do make sure to turn on use random words. If my file does not meet the requirements in the case that your file does not even though my file does meet requirements, but I'm just going to keep that on. And I'm going to click on next. And as you can see, once you click on next, it's going to ask you the solution pages. So obviously this is the puzzle page. Choose these as your solution pages and we're going to click on submit. Now, once you do that, as you can see, there we go. There's our crossword. Now, obviously it's a bit small, so you're going to make it a bit bigger. And once you come here, look at this across a device that you use to talk to people from distance. Okay. Then there is down display use for Morse computers, etc., etc. So you get the point. And if we open this up again, same for this page. So stopping and starting repeatedly, able to stretch, foolish idea. So basically, these are your clues. Okay. And you have across clues, you have down clues. Now, if we head over to page number four, okay. This is, I'm pretty sure where, yeah, this is where the crossword puzzle ends. Okay. Now the crossword puzzle has ended over here. This is where the solution start. So this is the solution for the first crossword puzzle. So let's actually go ahead and check the solution. Now, as you can see, it has doubled the amount of pages because after each page has, it's basically gets a solution. So, you know, page one has a solution, page two has a solution, page three and page four has a solution. So obviously four into two would be eight. And you're going to need to have more than 40 words in your spreadsheet in order to create more pages. The more pages you want is basically how you get the more words you need. So again, if I were to show you the answers, you can start seeing this. Now, in the case that the words are, you know, splitting out, you're just going to need to, you know, increase the size of your boxes and this is going to be fine but you can see so basically stopping and starting repeatedly number one across okay so halting and there's idiotic idiotic is obviously you know a foolish idea then there's able to stretch which is elastic so you get the point you get all the list of answers in the greatest way possible and it's really amazing stuff so yeah 
that's basically how you're going to make your crossword puzzle. And yeah, trust me, making a crossword puzzle and then selling it online on your, you know, maybe Amazon or someplace like that. You get tons and tons of money because a lot of people actually buy crosswords and you get good money off of it. Trust me. So, yeah, crosswords would be an amazing idea for you to work on. And then finally, as I discussed, when it comes to the cover of your, you know, crossword, again, you can just come over to canva.com. It's really simple to make it because obviously you already have like a whole list of crosswords. Just go ahead and make sure to mess around with it on your Excel. But for the cover for your crossword, just come here and write crossword because that will start giving you templates for crossword puzzles. And yeah, there you go. You can start getting crossword puzzle templates over here. So you can just pick these off and, uh, you know, export it, paste it over here and just get the general idea of it. But yeah, if I were to summarize everything again, basically what I did was I opened up BookBolt, which is bookbolt.io, this over here. I created an account, logged in with it, went over here, went to the BookBolt studio, once I went to the BookBowl studio, created a new project, set the proper trim size and set all the proper settings. And once I did that, I basically wanted to create an Excel file to put all of my crossword puzzles in. Okay, to basically put my clues and answers for the crossword puzzle. And what I did was I created an Excel file. Now, where did I get the words from? Obviously, I got it from wordplays.com, which is, again, an amazing and incredible website to get your clues and answers from. So please do make sure to check that website out. It's absolutely amazing. You can get all different types of clues and answers. And I like what I got 40 clues and answers in the matter of, I guess, two to three minutes. So imagine how many you could get in like what, 30 minutes or maybe an hour. So, you know, you can make countless crossword puzzles with that. And so once I did that, I obviously added the CSV file. I saved it on my computer. I added it onto BookBolt. And as you can see, BookBolt started creating my crossword puzzles for me. So there's a lot and lots of benefits of BookBolt. First of all, it's a free day trial. Okay, you get free trial. Then once the free trial ends, you can also buy a premium plan, which is pretty cheap. And it gets more cheaper once you use my link in the description below, which I'm going to talk in a second. But it saves a lot of time for you because any other book publishing way that there's out there, it's going to take you a lot of time to, you know, actually create crossword puzzle books. You know, authors spend hours and hours actually designing crossword puzzle books, but look at what you're doing. You're doing it totally online and you're doing it totally digitalized. Like this is absolutely amazing and you're saving yourself a lot of time, a lot of money and a lot of effort. So it does absolutely everything for you. All you need is some words and that too you can get from wordplace.com or even if you want to use today's technology, you can use ChatGPT or any other chatbot that you have, which will give you the words in a matter of seconds. So yeah, basically, if you want to try out BookBolt yourself, I will leave my personal link down in the description below, which will get you a three day free trial. And if you want to get the premium plan, then please do make sure to use my coupon code. The coupon code is creator20, C-R-E-A-T-O-R 20. You're going to use my coupon code creator20 for 20% discount on the premium plan. And it's pretty important to get a premium plan if you want to make crossword puzzles, because if I come over here, I'm going to go on pro only, and you can see that the crossword is only available in the premium plan. Like you can get this on the basic plan. So if you want to make crosswords, do make sure you use my link in the description below so you can get a discounted premium plan. That's how great BookBolt is and that's how easy it is to make a crossword puzzle. I hope this video was really helpful for you and I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, that's pretty much it about for this video. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.